Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, the 1st of June. Um, it is early, about 7.36, and I'm getting ready to get started on my water bottle holders. And I just wanted to show you the yarn that I picked and why. So um, a lot of them do not have <laughs> labels. So yeah, we'll just, I mean, I don't, I know that they're cotton because they were in my cotton section um, in, in this room. So uh, I'll show you the colors that I picked and why. Before that though, if today is your birthday, <laughs> happy birthday to you. Today is my great niece, Alexis. She goes by Lexi. Today is her birthday. So happy birthday, Lexi. If it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. If it is your anniversary, happy anniversary to you both and congratulations. I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Um, I'm having to use my overhead lighting and my lighting in front of me because it is raining and uh, lightning again today. So, <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like it's like every other day. Uh, anyway. Anyway, hi to all my subscribers. I've actually received several since yesterday. You guys are so awesome to come over and, um, you know, hit that subscribe and that like button. It really means a lot to me. And, you know, I really appreciate your support. So thank you for that. Okay, so um, this kind of, I'm just thinking it kind of matches, but, you know. So I've got this one. I'm hoping I have enough. This one's kind of a lighter one. Uh, kind of like a seafoam green, maybe? And this one is, so this one has a label, and it is chambray tweed. So it does have like, there you go, some little bits in there. And it's the yarn bead tweed indeed. It was clearanced. Um, here's another one of my clearance yarns from last year. Uh, Aqua Sparkle, so it's got, spar I don't know if you can see this part. Oh man. You can't see the sparkle, maybe right there. Look, really, there you go. There's the sparkles right there. So there's that one. Um, I just like this color and I think it's summery. Um, it's just the brights from I Love This Cotton. And I thought that would be good for a water bottle holder if a child sees it and says, hey, I want that. Um, this one's just a, a very good, I mean, I've got like little fuzzies, that chenille yarn, man. I was, I was making custom ordered scrunchies that I'm telling you, um, I never even thought to make scrunchies in college colors, but that's what I'm working on right now. So, um, I'm on the last one, so they'll be done soon. Anyway, this one is gray. Okay. Um, then there's this one, which is just black sparkle. You can see those. That was another clearance item. I've got a brown. I have a, this is another tweed. I don't, I like orange tweed, rust tweed. I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of cool looking. It, someone might think it's too fallish, but I don't know. And then I've got this color as well, which is a lighter brown. And then this one. This might be remnants from when I went to New Orleans, or I had, um, I think I took two or three different shades of blue about, and it's been about three years. Let's see. I bought my car 2020, so it's, it's probably, it might've been four years ago. I don't know. Anyway, I know it was at least three, but, um, this is, this is one of the yarns that I used to make water bottle holders while I was going, while we were driving there and then on the way back. And then of course I made one for myself and my sister-in-law, Lori. So I figured if I use these colors, let me see if I can get them all on here. If I use these, anything that, oh, I don't know. Anything that I have left over, I'm going to make um, towel holders with because they don't take up a lot of yarn. And that way I can use up every single bit of these skeins right here. So I'm getting ready to make water bottle holders. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's ten. I'm like, there are gonna be ten there. So the only one I don't think I'm I'm gonna be able the only one I don't think I'm gonna be able to get anything out of is this last one right here. Um let me put those down now. Cause this one's really light, and I like to make a long string for or a long um strap. I mean, I like for it to be oh. I mean, I usually chain like 150 
and this is really light so I might have to switch this one out um, um, if I do yeah if I do I've just I've got a whole bin on my uh, couch right now that's full well it's not full anymore but it was full of cotton yarn at one time <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I'm getting ready to go get started. I'm going to go make me a couple of scrambled eggs and uh, sausage patties. I'm going to get me some coffee and I'm going to get started. I have decided this morning I am going to watch, while I'm crocheting, first movie of the day, Mr. Peabody and the Mermaid. That's got Anne Blythe and... Oh my gosh, Anne Blythe is in it. And so is, like, um, I think it's one of the, the, it's not Dick Powell, it, the Thin Man. I can't, I just can't, but, but you know, it's the Thin Man. It'll pop on my head as soon as I'm done here. Anyway, I better get off here so that I can, you know, get things started. <laughs> and then I will come back in a few hours and let's see it's so it is oh now it's oh my goodness it's 7 42 so eight o'clock let i'll come back before i go to lunch so I'll, I'll come back here at 12 and let you guys know how i'm doing all right i hope you're having a good start to your saturday morning i'll see you in a little bit um or when i see you i guess Okay, guys, I'm back. It's not quite 12 o'clock. Jack came home for lunch because he works on Saturdays. So I had lunch with Jack, and now I'm back to show you that I what I got finished. So I used the blue, but I messed up. It's, and I'm not going to take the handle off. I'm just going to sell it at a discount because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, and it's kind of twisted. So, um... Here's one of the bottle holders, okay? And here is the brown one. Oh, is this one twisted too? No. Okay, this one's good. <laughs> so here's the brown one. They work up really fast. Um, I was getting ready to start the fourth one. And then I made a larger one for um, that, I don't know, this yarn. This was the green, and I had none left over. I didn't think I was going to have any left over to do um, anything with. But that's okay. I still have plenty of cotton yarn that I can make towel holders with. So here's the larger one. Um, it's for, and I thought it would, it's the wider ones. It's not for, I mean, it fits in here, though. Let me get it in her. So it fits in there. It's just a little big. Because I wanted, I have a, um a bigger bottle, a bigger water bottle that I take to work. And that would definitely fit this. So I figured instead of making them all just water bottle size, I'll make some larger ones as well. So made this one a little different. Instead of all mesh, I just did um, some half double crochets around because if I would have done double crochets, I wouldn't have had enough. This is that green that was like, I barely had enough of it. And I think it was the organic cotton, but I don't have any more. I've looked everywhere. But I was able to get one out of there. And I mean, I had like scraps left, teeny tiny little fuzzies left <laughs> out of this yarn. So I'm really happy with that. Um, and this one, this one's really, look at how skinny, but my water bottle fit right in there. So this is true water bottle size. It's, you're not going to fit anything else in there that's wider. This is a little bit bigger, but not much. But I'm just so frustrated with myself that I sewed this on and didn't check to make sure the strap was... Not twisted but oh well and this was that tweed this was the blue tweed so it's got like little oh there you go there's some of the colors there's little colors in there all right so it's 12 58 i can't remember when i was on it was like 8 30 8 o'clock i don't know so three it, it it averaged about an hour maybe an hour and 10 minutes per bottle holder or water bottle holder i'd like to make seven more before the end of tonight so these i'll all be compiled together i'll keep you guys posted so i showed you the yarn i was going to use i'm going to go back get right back into it now that i've had my lunch and start making some more when i reach 10 then i'll come back and show you the other seven all right see you later <laughs> 
Okay guys, this is Lisa. I'm back. It is still Saturday, although only for about 45 more minutes. Yes, it's 11.16 p.m. I had planned on making 10 water bottle holders, but then company came and everything stops when my, my children and my grandkids show up. This has been such a blessed Saturday for me. Uh, my son came over for a visit. My granddaughter came over for a visit. And then my youngest granddaughter is staying the night. So we actually, this is not, this night's not over for me. We are getting ready to go and watch A Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, it's her favorite movie. Everyone else is in bed asleep. And she took a late nap. Um, guilty. And so I was like, well, we can watch a movie or something. She goes, can we watch Nightmare Before Christmas? It's not Jack's favorite, but it's my favorite. We all know how I feel about Jack. Well, my Jack and that Jack. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so even though my goal was to make 10, I did make five. So that's good. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And I've got, let me get a drink of water. I just feel like, I don't know. Using my cup that my friend Carrie made me. Um, let's see. So these are the colors I was not, there must have been another color. I think I only made five. I have these, something's missing. I have no idea where it went, but I was not able to make these yet, but I will. I know I picked out 10 colors. Didn't I pick out 10 colors? Well, I've got them here, so let me show you. Okay, so anyway, it was, oh my gosh. And, and I talk about this all the time and, and it's not like it's a broken record. And I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, Lisa, but I'm serious. Really? When, when your kids and your grandkids come over, I mean, I, for me personally, I was just like, Hey, are you busy? Nope. Absolutely not. I'm not, I'm never too busy for you. So it stopped. We had a nice visit. Um, oh, and I'm going to try out a recipe. Okay. So, um, I'm going to show you these. And while I'm showing you, maybe I'll talk about the recipe. So this one I made. There's still plenty left. I'm sure I could, I might be able to get another one. This one was really thin. And I'm so glad that the green was in there. You know how we don't like working with black yarn. It's just like, oh. So this is how this one turned out. And you can definitely see the sparkles. And they work up really fast. So that's why I know I'll be able to make more by Tuesday. So there's this one. And this was, it was, again, it was clearance. I think I, yeah, this is Black Sparkle. So there's that one. And this is the one that I twisted. But even Jordan says, she goes, I'll take it. This is the one that had the, I don't know if you can see it. I showed this earlier because this is one of the first ones that I finished. Um, it is the tweed or something it was called. Where is it? But I don't know. It's missing, you guys. This one I really do like, but um, oh, I don't know if it's strong enough to hold a bottle. I'll have to get my big water bottle out and try it because it just keeps, every time I've, I've tied it off a few times and it just keeps, I don't know. It, it's, and it's organic. It's organic um, cotton. But I tied that off and it just keeps, I don't know, it keeps coming back. Kind of freaky. Hold on, let me tie it again. So anyway, um, I watched, I did watch some movies. I watched Mr. Peabody and the Mermaid. And the guy's name is William Powell. I don't know why I couldn't figure that one. I think it's William Powell. Yeah, William Powell. The Thin Man. It's the Thin Man. Uh, there. So see, and it just... Comes right, man. I don't know. This one might not be <laughs> for a water bottle. I was thinking, you know, it's organic cotton. It might not be bad. I I don't know, guys. We might have to use something a little bit. I'll try it out. But I made it bigger because it can hold one of the wider water the wider water bottles. I don't know. It was that sounded weird? And I made the strap extra long. So there's number three. Anyway, so I did watch that one. I also watched my sister Eileen. That was a um, recommendation. I hadn't watched that movie in so long. And there, 
there are two. I think there's one. There is one with Janet Lee. I don't think there is one. The one I watched was the one with Rosalind Russell from, I don't know, 1940-something. But there's the brown one. This one is a nice snug fit as well. And wait, one, one, two, three, four. Oh, I made six. See, I thought I only made five. And here's the tannish looking one. See, man, those fuzzies are all over the place. <laughs> those little fuzzies. There's the tan one. Strap's not as thin or not as thick. But yeah, there's that one. And then this one. So not only, and I haven't weaved in the end with that one. So see, this one feels good and sturdy. This one right here, out of all of this, this is the only yarn that was peaches and cream. So it's, it's a lot thicker. This one and this one, actually all of these are I Love This Cotton, I believe. Yeah, these, so these are I Love This Cotton, okay? These are I Love This Cotton. This is some kind of, I, I remember it being organic cotton. Um, I have no idea. I had this for like years. It probably would not, I'm just not thinking it's gonna be sturdy enough. So yeah, and then this one right here is my favorite one because it feels like it could hold a water bottle. These these are okay too. So the only one that I'm really questioning is the green one. But um, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I was only four short for my goal of making 10 for today, but that's good. And um, that's all. So there's, I'm, I, I think I did three separate videos. I'm going to put those together and um, yeah. So while it's still Saturday, <laughs> for me anyway, I know it's not for everyone, but for me, it's still Saturday. So I'm going to get off of here and hopefully I can get this loaded up in the next 37 minutes so it'll still be Saturday. Um, you guys have a good rest of your evening if you're up this late, but I'm going to go watch a movie with my grandbaby and um, thank you guys all so much for watching and yeah, I'll see you when I see you. Happy hooking. Bye for now.